Welcome to this new video. This video is regarding an interview question. Select columns versus add columns. So what is the difference between select columns and add columns in DAX Power BI? So when you see the visual here itself, you can make out the difference between the add columns and select columns. Select columns only returns the column names, the table which we are going to give in the DAX statement. Add columns default itself, it will return the entire table with the expression along with. So we will see in details. So select column, it returns a table with selected columns from the table and new columns specified the DAX expression. So whatever selected column you wanted, you can give it and the expression also you can give it. So the expression along with the columns which you have given it will be displayed in the selected column. But the add columns, add column adds calculated columns to the given table or table expression. It default itself, it will display or it will create the table with all the columns from the table which you are specifying along with the expression. So if you check in this visual we have a table called lat long and we have a table called people and we want to count the number of regions in this lat long table so if you are writing an add column with respect to the people so the table you are giving is people so that means columns in the people will be automatically taken without writing anything and the expression of course this is the expression for counting the region so that also will be changed. but here in the selected columns if you are giving the only the expression will be displayed in the table otherwise you have to select or you have to give the exact column that column only will be displayed that is what it is the selected column has the same signature and as add column and has the same behavior expect that instead of starting with the table specified selected column starts with an empty table before adding columns add columns will start with a table that is already mentioned selected column will start with an empty table and first it will take the expression and then if you are giving any column with respect to the table that also will be taken so we will make an example for that of course we have two tables lad long and people in the data set this is the lad long and this is people and we will create a new table first with add columns so we will give the table name as count add all equals to we can use add columns add columns from people people is a table this is the table of people and people and then we need to give the name so name we can give it as count of region and then we need to give the expression expression is count x and we need to get the count from this latitude region so you need to give the related function related table lat long and then we need to give the expression that is the column name so region lat long region so this is the expression for, for add columns we have given and we will check what all we got so count of add column you can see the percent table exactly fully on the person table and then the count of region you can show it in the visual here we will get the person region and the count of region so with respect to this people we have given and we got all the values for all the entities of this people along with the expression but now we will see about select columns so we will create the table so count select call equals to select columns and the table we are giving is people and then the name count of region and the same syntax we can give here also count x and related table we need to give lat long and then the column name region. this is exactly the similar code which we have given for this add column and now we will check how it is working for selected columns you can go to the data view and you can select the column and select the column when you select the column you got only the count of region you can place it in a table here so take the table of count selected column and we have only one column in that and that is count of region so we didn't specify any column from the person table here in both the cases but for add columns we got all the columns from the person table but with respect to the select columns we got only the expression we have given if you want to give the column name of course we can give this region right now if you want to give this region or person name you can go to the count and here you can specify that you can give the name as region and then you can give the column name person and you can give it as region people region you can give. now if you look at the selected column table you can see region is also appended to the tables so you can select that region also here so this is the basic and the fundamental difference between add columns and selected columns selected columns whatever column values you need you have to mention it whereas add columns no need to mention any column values just give the table name and all the columns from the table will be taken along with the expression hope this was an interesting video have a nice day